Hey guys, so I'm sitting here uh, playing with the new thermal scope I got from HTI and uh, it prompted me to want to do this video. So the thermal scopes, they do have their limitations and you know, we'll, I, I was going to go ahead and do a later video on that, but now is a perfect time. So it's uh, 33 degrees out, 95% humidity here because, well, it's raining and I don't know if you can see that, but... Yeah, it's raining out. Um, there are some foggy spots out, you know, like, uh, let's see here, out past the trees. You can see how foggy it is out there, the distance, the tree line there. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about what the limitations are of thermals. So I'm not going to do a full blown. I'm just going to do weather wise right now because there are some other things that uh, some tricks that you can do to fool thermal. Okay, on how to hide from it and things like that. And, and that'll be even yet another video down the road. But right now, I just wanted you guys to see um, how diminished the view would be through the thermal on a day like this with super high humidity, nearly 100%. It's like 95%. And the colder temperature combined. So let's uh, let's take some, uh, some views of the thermal and uh, we'll... I'll go over it with you on its detection capabilities and things like that. All right. So before we begin, I wanted to uh, show you this video clip uh, from a couple of days ago so that uh, you have a better understanding. So you can see how crisp and clear everything is in this video clip. And I'll show you the difference here in a minute when I show you what I'm actually going to be seeing uh, under the weather conditions I'm facing today with very high humidity. Uh, this was in the low 30s with relative low to no humidity, so under ideal conditions. This is what I'm seeing now under these current weather conditions. Um, again, we're talking uh, mid-low 30s, um, 95 to 97% humidity, <laughs> and it's raining. So um, thermals do have their limitations, and well... These weather conditions uh, show that. Now, something that you should know is that all thermals will do this. So, I mean, look at this. You can still see, see the detail on the bark on the tree, right? So, all thermals will do this. Uh, essentially, what it's seeing, it's seeing that, that humidity in the air. And it's coming off as like a foggy picture, right? So... Again, the woods are misty, is the way I would describe them. Um, you know, deeper back, they're, you know, foggy, I guess you could say. But, you know, from what I was seeing from the window here, um, out, which is out there is about 100 yards, like I said, 90 to 100 yards, um, I can still see this stuff. So different color pal palettes really don't help much. But if you notice, the rabbits in the cage really still stand out, even in this misty or high humidity state weather. Even the greenhouse, you know, and the trees behind it can still be seen. Again, just looks foggy. Thermals can't see through glass, you know, things like that. Um, because even though the glass is transparent, night vision can see through glass. Um, but the thermal just reads the heat that from the glass itself, so it just looks like something solid. Well, when you're talking about mist, it's not quite solid like glass, but it is going to fog, like blowing fog on a glass. You know, going up there and putting your mouth and ah, doing that on a glass, it's going to fog out, and you won't be able to see through it. So same principle here. But anything that uh, is giving off heat like the chickens and everything else um, seem to stand out just fine. Uh, in the misty environment here. So, yeah, not bad. The 640 is is pretty amazing. So, like I said, I'm happy with it. I have no complaints so far. All right, so I'm just going to kind of outline here with this little video clip that um, it's not the scope. Watch, I'll show you. So I'm going to come in here, focus in. And again, go back to nice, crisp, clear, vivid detail and video inside the house. 
<laughs> we're watching a movie right now, so I was messing around with the scope out the window again. But I just wanted to throw that in. And then again, holding it out the window. Let me focus it up here. Holding it out the window, again, you can see the misty, you know, cold, drizzly view of what it sees. So, All right, so... So now we've moved into the front yard. <laughs> and again, it's it's raining. <laughs> it's completely fogged out. Um, I can see the thick fog in the trees, and I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see if we can see that. You can see the fog over all there. Again, high humidity day. Really high humidity, mainly because it's raining. But... Um, and it's daytime, again, fully, full overcast, you know. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out what the thermal is actually able to see in the scrap again. All right, so like before, I'm going to show you what the pretty version looks like under ideal conditions. A couple of days ago during the daytime, um, temperatures, I want to say, if I remember correctly, were in the mid-20s. Um, so, yeah, beautiful. Right? Low humidity, low to no humidity. This is the uh, misty view of the front yard. These trees are between 90 and 100 yards away. So 95 to 97% humidity, I can't complain, on a rainy day. You know, one thing I wanted to show you also, the reason why I'm showing you all this is because I don't remember in all the reviews I've watched of other thermal scopes, did they ever show n not so ideal conditions with those thermal scopes. They've always been beautiful images. Well, like the ones that I was showing you of this one. So I'm just letting you know that uh, for transparency purposes, thermals do have their limitations, as I've been saying. So, And again, I'll be doing a video on that on how to hide from thermal as well. It's going to be pretty cool. But either way... Um, White hot seems to work best in these weather conditions right now. Again, you know, it's raining outside, so um, the different color palettes, you know, they don't seem to do a lot to make the background, the trees stand out or pop any. It seems to be white hot uh, does the best here. So I favored black hot. Well, now I'm favoring white hot in these, um, you know, adverse weather conditions, so... Again, that Goyo Joe that I had, that I sent back, I'm going to include a clip right after this to show you how absolutely horrid that picture was. And I'll talk about that in a minute too. So, again, white hot with the chickens stand out beautifully, even though there's some definition lost and clarity on the chicken coops themselves. The birds in the misty woods are really popping. So, not bad. Even though a uh, picture of the greenhouse is also, you know, uh, well, you can barely see the greenhouse. If there was a person standing out there, he'd light up like the chickens, you know. So, if you're a hunter, even in these conditions, you're still going to be able to see what you're, uh, what you're aiming at. So, like I said, it's pretty cool. HTI, yeah, they knocked it out of the park. For a 640 core for under 1500 bucks. I mean, like I said, I was skeptical, guys, but I put my money up, and now I'm putting my mouth up too on it to show you guys what it's capable or what I got for 1500 bucks, as opposed to one of the other big companies that are charging minimum of three thousand dollars for the same clarity and the same um, type of scope, thermal scope in the 640 range, three thousand and up. So, hey, I'm off for the underdog, the working guy. Get what you can, get the best you can for your buck. So, all right, let's move on to that Goyo Joe video. All right, so this is the uh, the scope that I sent back. This one had a 384 core in it, 19 millimeter lens. I actually like this scope. Uh, I thought it was a good product. I raved about it, um, and then all of a sudden it did this. Mm -hmm. And again, the five days that I had it playing with it, the weather conditions didn't change. Again, they were in the upper 40s, low 50s, relative low to no humidity. It wasn't raining, 
nothing. It was just a beautiful week. And uh, it went through a refresh cycle, and it just started seeing this way. It didn't matter. You know, it, it could see the rabbits out there, which are about 50 meters, but it, it wasn't able to see anything past that. And the clarity on it and everything just took a nosedive. And again, those were ideal conditions where the 640 that, I'm, that I have now under ideal conditions, you know, were about the same. Temperature is actually uh, lower when I got the 640 because it was in the 20s. And when I had this one here, this Goyo Joe um, 384, this is what it did to me. So again, I sent it back. Uh, I'm sure you can't blame me, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. This one was 1188 bucks on Amazon. And, uh, you know, when it started doing this, obviously. And again, watch the very first video because it shows how clear this one actually was when it was working. And there's the pump house. That truck just got done driving, being driven. So, but, yeah, you get the point. All right, guys. All right, so let's take a look at some screenshots. But first, here's a weather report. You can see on Monday, highs and lows, and the humidity um, at 97. Plus, it was raining that day. So, you know, here's the chicken coop. Ideal weather conditions, just cold, no humidity. And here's the chicken coop um, with the humidity the way it is. Here's the greenhouse. Nice, crisp, beautiful, clear image. And under not so ideal conditions inclement weather right so this is that uh, downrange area 100 yards roughly to the trees and there it is now in inclement weather still be able to uh, see a man sized target the truck the truck was just driven so it's going to stand out as opposed to the one that has been sitting all day in inclement weather in the rain so all right guys so um i hope this video was helpful uh, it was kind of hastily put together um mainly because I took advantage of the fact that uh, our humidity here shot up to 95, 97% because of the rain and, uh, you know, the weather conditions here. And, uh, you know, I had gotten a few questions uh, geared around weather conditions on why I sent the other one that I had back, that one from Goyo Joe, um, on why I sent that one back with the 384 core in it. Um, weather conditions didn't change. Essentially, the darn thing just went blind as far as I can tell it it clicked over on a refresh rate uh, the image just was garbage and there was nothing I could do to uh, to get it to clear up I guess you could say um, I ended up having it for like a day or two while I was you know in the process of sending it back to Amazon but this one here um, well of course it's going to be affected by the weather, uh, especially with that type of weather. Rain, active active rain. Remember, thermals do have limitations. So this was one example that I did uh, for the video to show what their limitations are and what their decreased visibility will be under certain weather conditions because they do have operating temperatures, storage temperatures, and all that. Um, this is something I was going to get into later, as I said before, but... Um, this one here with the 640 core, I mean, I can't complain for the price I paid for it, 1500 bucks. And again, all the thermals are going to do this. Inclement weather is going to affect um, how these things operate and their clarity. I don't care if you spent $3,200 for the TS25 uh, 640 by AGM um, or one of the uh, other brands and i'm not picking on those guys I, you know i'm sure they make a, a quality nice scope but for 3200 bucks an average joe like this guy right here can't afford that okay this is a 640 scope also with a 35 millimeter lens that i paid again like just over 1400 because of the mishap uh, where they were out of stock and he gave it to me slightly cheaper than the 1499 they have this one listed for and uh, so I'm not promoting one company or the other. I'm not talking crap about any other company. I'm dealing with what my price range is for a thermal scope with the same capabilities as the other ones that are selling for the three and four thousand dollar range, which again, just out of my price range. But I can't be happier. Um, but yeah, this thing's pretty awesome. And uh, stay tuned for more videos to come on this scope. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it.